So my window's defrosting in the shape of a heart. Either that or a butt on a printer. Oh my gosh, guys. It's too cold today. It is... I don't even have to say it. Too dang cold. My gosh, my my heater wouldn't even kick on this morning, really. Like it defrost, it, it like defrosted some of the window, and that's it. So, that's how cold it is. My uh, winter uh, windshield washer fluid is frozen, so it must have got down to like zero last night. If you're from a different country. It's negative 9 Celsius right now, if you don't know how to convert. So, um, on the other hand, got English first and then chemistry after, which should be fun. You know, I'm really dreading this chemistry test coming up, mainly due to the fact that this chemistry test is going to be unbelievably hard considering my teacher doesn't teach us anything. And ETSU is probably one of the worst schools I've ever attended. So, yeah, I recommend nobody attends this school if you want a good grade in college. Because I'm, I'm thinking about switching because this school sucks. Their chemistry department, which is the one I'm mainly in to graduate in, does not teach like that they they're really smart people really smart people but they cannot teach to save their lives i want somebody to teach me the material that's why i'm paying you six thousand dollars a year so you can teach me not so i can sit there and read a book and say yeah i understand it and they say okay and then they give you a test on it no that's not how i do it you're supposed to they're supposed to teach us that's why they're called teachers or professors or instructors you know I mean that's the whole reason of college not to sit there and just show a couple slides in class and say do you understand and we don't and then they say okay and then we leave I mean that that's literally how it goes so this chemistry department's awful I need to get out of here I want to go back to Tusculum College but you know they're so expensive and so far away, and I don't want to have to quit my job just to go down there. If I quit my job, I've got to lose my car and all that stuff, so it's not worth it. i got to find something else. I'm actually thinking about going to the technical college out here for just the basic stuff. All my main classes. And then coming back here for the harder classes. I think they're harder classes, from what I understand, have better teachers. I think it's these general classes, like general chemistry and all this stuff, that aren't any good. Um, I've heard good things about physics and stuff, and I like so. Maybe, maybe it'll be better. But on the other hand, we'll find something to do. Thank you. It says my tire pressure management systems funky, practically because frankly it doesn't have a tire pressure management system because I have custom rims. Anyway, I uh, heard a commercial on the radio earlier. It was this vibrating sound. I was like. What is this? And then I said, uh, does that sound like the sound of somebody getting a haircut? And I said, I was thinking something different. And then it said, well, you would be right. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a insurance commercial or something. I'm not sure. Had the voice of the guy from the progressive insurance commercials. I know the Allstate commercials. So, I am going to go to class. I'll see you guys after. Hey guys, I'm with Sarah. It's cold. It's cold. She just said it's cold because it is cold. Anyway. Bad us to wind. Yeah, the wind's bad, but it was 15 degrees this morning, so anything above 20 right now is kind of warm to us. So we're on our way to Subway. We don't want to drive, so we're going to walk there because this is what parking looks like. So. That's the closest spot. Yeah, this is the closest spot college is like a quarter of a mile to half a mile back that way so we decided to walk so we're gonna go to subway we did want something cheap and greasy but there's really nothing cheap and greasy within walking distance it's that we wanted <laughs> it's not mcdonald's <laughs> that we actually wanted so we're going to subway that's where we eat healthy and greasy 
Yeah. Do you know what's one thing I cannot stand? It's multicolored hair. Blue. If you have blue accents, it's ignorant as heck to do that. Do not, and I repeat, do not dye your hair in colors that are not natural. It's not natural. Get it? Got it? Good. What do you got? Chicken teriyaki. Italian BMT. New chips. Hey guys, we just left this student book exchange and we have, we have a, these cars are loud. I guess we still got a lot of time, so we're going to go to Nebo, the other bookstore in town. So we're just, we're just, we're not looking for books. We're just looking for clothes and other accessories that are kind of cool that we'll never buy. Burning we're burning time. We both flunked the test in chemistry. Prob my, well, yes, there's no probably about it. <laughs> Unless he gives extreme partial credit. Like if, uh, you, if you wrote words or letters, kind of like Celebrity Jeopardy on SNL. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you write anything down, you get points. <laughs> so that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, we're out of there. It was interesting looking at next year's college books. Sucks. Anyway, uh, also, green hair is a no no. A big no no. Green hair is just <laughs> like somebody spit grass on your head. Don't do it. And there's a tree, so I gotta lean. Okay, so we're going, we're heading back to class. Last class of the day. Then, we're, then I'm going to the gym. She's probably going to go to work or something. I have English at work. Oh yeah, she has class at like 5 o'clock. But she can have fun with that. I'm going to the gym. She yeah. Will have fun with that. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go to class. Then we're going to go to the gym. Then we got to go to work and all this good stuff. So, yay. No. Okay. See ya. What is the point in the buttons at a crosswalk? Do they really do anything? Somebody who knows more about them, tell me, do they really do anything? It's a blueberry. Let's play Galaga. The painting on the uh, concrete looks just like the starship from Galaga. I'm just saying. Hey guys, uh, I'm at the CPA. Traffic's crazy on campus today. And like five people run out in front of me and just try to turn around in front of me and jump like that. And then they get mad at me because I'm driving normal. I don't understand it. Anyway, I'm going to go in here and work out, so I'll see you guys when I get home. Hey guys, I'm back from the gym. I'm going to take a shower. i got 15 minutes to get ready for work and get out of here. So I'll see you guys when I get up. Hey guys, I'm running a little late for work, so I'm going to cut this one short. Um, not, a, not a really anything to talk about. Good day at the gym, though. It's been about three hours there. So, I'm going to go to work and work 5 to 9 and all that good stuff so not too bad of a shift i'm not sure if i'm a bagger or not so we'll find out usually a five to nine is a bagger sometimes it's a cashier not a whole lot of times it's not a lot of times it's not a cashier so we'll just find out so hope my, hope my brakes ain't slowing down on me <laughs> they kind of jerks a little bit i think it's these racing brakes though see that the, this model had racing brakes on it so yeah. So I'll see you guys whenever I get out. I'm going to kill my co-workers. They've been spraying the back of my pants with a window cleaner. So I'm going to use this to clean myself off. You guys hear my belt? It's like my belt when, when you put it in between there, the air goes in between the belt and my pants. Sounds like a chainsaw or a weed eater. Nathan's a leaker. Uh, uh, hey guys, I'm home now and I was a bagger tonight, so it was a fun night. Hard at all, so. So everything's falling over on my, my dresser's messy. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go upload the vlog, do some chemistry homework, and then go to bed. So, see you guys in a few. Hey guys, um, I'm kind of frustrated right now because I was trying to work on this chemistry, 
and they haven't taught us this stuff in class and they expect us to know it I don't understand the, the school I just don't understand them how they expect us to know this stuff when they don't teach it to us I'm entirely frustrated about this because I can't complete this because I don't know how to do it you know the, the whole point of having teachers is for them to teach you I think I've already said that today and I, I have reinforcement because I don't I don't know how to do this because we haven't been over in class and since we haven't been over in class and I can't do it I don't know what to do you know good night guys peace out